this is my pedal board. Do you notice anything strange about it? No? How about there's no power supply? There's no cable for a power supply, yet everything's switched on. That's strange. So loads of you have been asking me what kind of power I'm gonna put on the pedal board. I did say in a previous video, I was experimenting and looking at solutions, but I didn't just want a main supplier to give me the right voltages for each thing. The RC600 needs nine volts. The TC Helicon Voice Life Play Acoustic needs 12 volts. And then my guitar switcher and the FS7 need nine volts as well. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I always do something a little bit different, but I wanted to actually get rid of the plug. So I started looking at power banks and using things like a power bank with a a rip cord connection, but then you're daisy chaining and you're not getting the right voltage to separate things. Enter this. This is the Harley Benton Power Plant Power Bank Plus Mark II. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I bought this. It's a power bank, but it's also more than that. It's actually got lots of connections on the side here, and one of them sends a different voltage. So that's the one for the TC Helicon. If you have a look here, it's actually got 10 outputs. You charge it by USB-C, which is just here, but then what you can do is you can use that as an out. That's the 10th output, and you can use it to charge anything from a phone, tablet, and computer, right? through to lights for live streaming, whatever you need. There are eight nine volt outputs and you get all the cables that you need for it as well. And this one here is the adjustable one. The capacity is a 92.5 watt hour power bank inside and it actually is a 25,000 milliamp hour battery. And on the top here, you can actually see the buttons. So we've got the power button right here. So I'll just switch it on right now. And as you can see, it's got three little bars to indicate what the battery's doing. I've fully charged it. The top one is actually for the adjustable power supply here. So I've actually got that set as 12 volts. What this means is I can use that one for the TC Helicon at 12 volts. All the others are nine volts for all the other pedals. Now the major advantage of this is the fact that it is a battery as well as a power splitter as it were. But the great thing is when I charge this up, once it's done, I can use this to plug my phone in to keep the phone charged when I'm live streaming. This is what is going into my pedal board, which means I can technically have my pedal board completely wireless. Instead of using wires from my guitars, I use the Lakato wireless guitar transmitters. I could actually use them on the main out to a PA. And finally, with the microphone, I could use a wireless transmitter for that as well. Now, of course, you've got to remember to charge all this stuff. But just to give you an insight, I charged this up. It's at full capacity right now, three little bars. And yesterday I did Loop Lab Mondays, which is our new live stream that you can go to, which we do it. 8 p.m. in the UK on a Monday to talk about anything to do with looping, whether you want to talk about loop structure, any problems you're having, and also I show you a couple of ways I do looping. I used this for just under two hours. I haven't charged it since. It's still on three bars, and this thing is a powerhouse. I mean, it's actually a power plant. Now, I've been playing around with this for a little while, and I've been keeping it a secret because I didn't want to buy it and go, oh, it's awesome, and then actually it didn't work. So I've been using it, I've used it on a couple of gigs, and it's just fantastic to rock up and go, I can go anywhere, it doesn't matter. If you pair that with things like a battery powered speaker, then you could go anywhere in the venue, or you could even go busking with a full rig and still have enough juice to charge your phone whilst you're playing. I've left a link in the description box if you wanna go and pick one of these up. I highly recommend it, mainly because I've bought it myself. This is what I'm gonna be using on my paddleboard. And if it is low on power, one thing you can do is you can actually plug it into the USB-C. And if you've got things like an 18 watt plug, you can charge it whilst using it, which of course is really, really important. Because it's digital, there's no signal noise coming from each individual one. They're all isolated. And I'm just gonna be dead honest with you, I haven't found a single problem with it. In fact, it's the perfect addition to my pedal board. Now I use the RC600 and I've made an entire course all about the RC600, which is on the screen now if you wanna go and view it. But if you wanna see the breakdown of my entire pedal board before I added this, then go and have a look at this video.